Aloha and happy Saturday. How's everybody Welcome. doing? Cheers. I see some people already waiting from Facebook and, yes, YouTube. and YouTube. Aloha, Andrew. Andrew, how are you? Andrew, you should be really excited because tomorrow we are doing the dolphin review. And I know you've been asking for that. That's going to be uh, coming up. So Should be awesome. the way how the pre uh, the preview is going to work is we already set it for tomorrow. What time? Uh, same time. Same time. Same yeah. time mm -hmm. as uh, this uh, premiere, 6 mm -hmm. p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific time, and 5 p.m. Standard time. So we will be premiering the Dolphin uh, uh, Quest video, Dolphin Encounter. And we will be there with you in the chat interacting. So we will be watching live with you so if you want to join live um uh the dolphin premiere and if you have any questions we will be there to answer yes, them. yes yeah, it's going to be awesome so today our live is going to be covering how to plan your dream hawaii vacation you know a lot of you guys are actually coming here and you're trying to figure things out and everything you're kind of unsure about a lot of things you know besides once you get here so we're going to be covering that in depth in this video of course saturday's lives is different from friday live and how is that because on saturdays we have special guests uh we bring you on our show um to tell you uh, to tell us uh, your maybe. stories mm -hmm. and today we have special guest mm -hmm. isaac right. uh we um before isaac came to hawaii which was recently uh we helped him build his itinerary and adjust his itinerary uh with our consultation mm -hmm. so if you need help with your itinerary if you have a lot of questions about hawaii or you just want to chat with us privately mm -hmm. uh we are available for a consultation so i don't know if you guys heard my bidding but i get updates all the time on what's going on and i usually start off our lives with Kind of like the COVID situation here. I know you guys have been also reaching out to us and say, hey, I'm a little worried now. I heard Hawaii is spiking and you are right. And this notification I just got has to do with that. Um, the coronavirus update. It says, in addition to 485 new COVID cases, the state reports no additional deaths. Yesterday, there were three deaths, and but it was like 668, I believe. Um, there have been nearly 3,000 cases in the past 14 days. So in two weeks, they have been uh, 3,000 cases. That's a lot for Hawaii because it's never really been high like that. Even when we were kind of like smack dab in the middle of this COVID situation, it was kept under control. So um, this is something to be a little concerned about, you know, uh, moving forward. And I do agree with you guys kind of checking in, but don't worry about it. Again, we will keep you up to date every time we go live and also in our uh, regular, videos and let you guys know what the situation is even if we have to jump on and go live which brings me to instagram make sure you guys follow us on instagram because there we pop on all the time sometimes two three times a day and we give you know keep you guys updates so follow us on instagram at just be out so without further ado let's bring on our guest isaac in the building fly, 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 fly. aloha isaac hey <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Back. Yeah, I feel like I'm there right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So when um when was it that you were in Hawaii? How long ago? I was I was there from we got there June tenth and mm -hmm. we were there to about June nineteenth. So we were there approximately nine days. Kind of nine like that days. sweet spot that you oh, always yeah. suggest. Right. Absolutely. A lot of people ask us, like, how long should I stay? And that is kind of like the sweet spot, like 10 days would be like really prime. You can get to see a lot, almost everything you need to. Plus, you get to kind of relax in the middle and you don't get to feel like you have to be rushing around everywhere and you're exhausted when you get back. But I know you're going to speak yeah. a little bit on that because you did uh, mention that to me uh, previously, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. So I, I think um, <clears throat> first thing we did was uh, we, were, we were going to Hawaii for a wedding in Oahu. And so the question was, do we go before the wedding or after the wedding, right? Because do we want to beat up our body before the wedding or do we want to, you know, after the wedding, 
lose control. So we, we thought, you know, we want to work on our tan before the wedding to look nice for the picture. So we thought going before. Um, so the first thing we did was we started to research. Lucky you right? didn't I get think, burned. <laughs> no, no, thank God. Thank God. Uh, uh, I, I think one of the things that helped us out the most was coming across your, your channel. Right. So there's a lot of people out there doing reviews, doing uh, YouTube stuff on, on how to vacation in Oahu, the do's and don'ts and things like that. And just for some reason, your channel caught our eye. And just it's almost like one of those Netflix series where it ends and you just like <laughs> want to get the next one. <laughs> like, what's Thank the next one about? Right? Thank you. Don't tell me about the Netflix series. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm hooked on, on Outlander right now. I'm watching Outlander <laughs> nonstop right now. But anyway, so so yeah, so so we started to research and I think the most important part of when you start doing this research, because you don't know, right? When you don't know how is it gonna be, is your personality the same as mine? Are our interests are like so those things are like very up in the air which you're not sure of. So as we did our research and we I will say we not just watched your channel, we watched other folks and compare the two and what they say compared to what you say and what you like to do. And we learn, we really actually get to learn about the YouTuber and then we see who we vibe with more. And right. I felt like we vibe more with, with you folks and, and what you like to do. Thank you. So when, when, when we learned about o Oahu, we, we learned about everything and what we wanted to do. Um, and then we prioritize what was important, what's something we would really want to do. So you kind of like, you pick A, B, and C. A's are like the things we definitely want to do. B's are like, I really want to do it, but if I don't do it, I won't be heartbroken. And C is like, if we don't do it, it's no, no, no sweat on my back. And that's how we came about this itinerary. So when we got right. this itinerary done, we were like, we saw someone who said, you know, we didn't plan enough. And I felt like our days, which is true, in, in Hawaii, I felt like the days took its time. It didn't go fast. So it was like we did two or three things and it's only one o'clock. <laughs> we could do more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So that did happen. And so I think when we met with you folks, it was it was great to hear that this won't be, you know, don't do it this way, do it this way. And we came up with this itinerary. So we can go over that itinerary. Um, one of the prime, prime questions I had was our hotel. You don't know what the hotel looks like. You know, you see the the pictures that they put up or the videos that they put up, and you're like, it's it could be uh, commercials. What they you know what they want you to think. Mm -hmm. So what I always do is I go on Instagram and I look for the tag of the of the hotel and see when people tag it, it's an actual picture. So I started to scroll, but there wasn't much happening there. So the hotel we stayed at was the Ala Moana Hotel, which, to my surprise, it was uh, pretty good. It was, it was it wasn't um, Four Seasons, but it wasn't Motel Six, right? So right. Was, um, which was which was great. Um, if I would suggest something to folks, is definitely book ahead. We booked in December for June, so almost about six months in advance, and it was doing like the downside of COVID. COVID def definitely helped us because it was so hard to get into Hawaii because of testings and uh, and things of that nature that a lot of folks weren't traveling as much. But we came right at the, uh, right when the, be the, the beginning of travelers coming in. So our rate for the hotel was great. We paid approximately about 150 a night, which is a steal, right? This hotel, we kept on checking to see the price will fluctuate every time, every week pr prior to our trip. And we just found, and we, we will call and say, hey, just check in. Uh, what are the stay during these dates? And we'll give them the same dates and see if the, the, the rates will fluctuate. And they weren't, they were going up. By the time we got there, the rates were going for about 250 mm -hmm. um, per night. So we got the hotel actually a hundred, $150, un hundred dollars under what the market value would be that's what i've been um actually suggesting to do with car rentals uh, last time and see now isaac also suggesting it with the hotels so when you book your hotel you can still check with the same hotel and see if they have better rates and 
if they do book the better rate and cancel your old rate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we had a great rate with uh, car rental too. We booked again six months in advance. Some some people, there are certain things that we wanted to do that we booked that we could book. There are certain things that you really can't book, like uh, Hanama Bay. We wanted to go snorkeling there, but you can't do it six months in advance. You have to do it like a couple of days before. Yep. And folks, if you're thinking about booking for Hanama Bay, <laughs> Irene is right. It goes <laughs> like, listen, I, I we were so shocked how fast it goes. It opens up at seven in the morning. At seven o three, they're all gone. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could not believe it. So we had it planned on our itinerary for a specific day, and when we went, it was it was it was there, and then it was gone. So then we had to rearrange our schedule. Guess we're not going to Friday to Hanama Bay. Let's try to go on Monday or whatever. Mm -hmm. Monday morning, you wake up early, gone. So there are certain things you should book ahead of time that you can, like the Polynesian Culture Center. I, rec I highly recommend it. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you a little bit about myself for the folks who are watching. I'm from New York, born and raised here. My uh, background is from the Dominican Republic, so I know a little bit of the island life. But this is a culture that you want to learn about, even though it's part of the United States. There's so much, so much stuff that you want to learn about about Hawaii. Uh, so, so if you want to see the Polynesian Culture Center, that is a must do. Um, the North Shore beaches and things like that um, are are a must. So I, I'll go through my um, my uh, my itinerary. So we had scheduled, and those folks who are on can probably go back and see that episode and compare what I'm saying now to what we planned before. Cause you plan, right. you're going into like, you don't know what you're hitting, but this is what you envision. Right. So we planned to land on, on June 10th and right away we thought, and it's true for me and my group, we didn't get hit with jet lag. As long as you sleep on the plane, if you're going to land during the daytime, make sure you're rested on that plane before you land. So we landed like around noon, and we didn't hit, get hit with jet lag. We, we and and from anybody who doesn't know, it is a 12-hour flight from New York to Honolulu. And yeah. did you have a layover? So you had a straight flight. We did. We we planned the layover. Uh, I was I was sharing I was sharing with you folks earlier about how I, I one of my bucket lists is to go into different baseball stadiums. So we had to go to Anaheim and San Diego to go to those two stadiums. So we flew from New York to LA, hung out there for two days, saw some of the sites and then took a five hour flight to Oahu. Mm -hmm. um, so so we, we thought once we land, we're gonna have energy, let's go for a hike. Let's go see the sunset, pillbox, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And when we landed, we had the energy, we wanted to unpack, we took a shower, and when we thought about doing that hike, we said, you suggested going to the uh, Magic Island. Magic Island. Magic Island. And we went there, we, we grabbed some food at the Ala Moana uh, Center at the food, mm -hmm. at the food court, mm -hmm. uh, and then walked over, sat there, watched the sunset, hung out there, and then went back to our room. By that time, we just wanted to relax, right? You know, so yeah. I, I think another thing that we, we, we realized uh, was um, we're on vacation and as much as I wanted to see everything and do everything, I was thinking to myself, I, want, I don't want to go back to New York and feel like I need a vacation for my vacation. So at, even the first day I was beginning to realize we might need to pump the brakes on this heavy itinerary because I don't want to overdo it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get to the, the hikes. We did one hike, which what we did was the second day uh, on June 11th, we had plans to go to Hanama Bay and relax but what happened was that there was an issue with hanama bay they had closed down something with the water there was like a, yeah, they a, water had a main break. pipe, pipe, pipe break. issue mm -hmm. so they actually yeah. had to close the entire bay so they closed this so we were like okay so that's not happening let's switch something around let's do the cocoa head uh cocoa head hike let's just go the hardest hike let's do that one first and just, first day you know, yeah, second day, day yeah. let's do it <laughs> Because we went to bed early, we relaxed, you know, so we woke up, we said, let's go. So we got up, we went over, we, well, actually, yeah, we, we did that hike. Um, and it was, it was intense. It was, you know, some people say it's not worth it. That hike is, you know, it's just a straight up hike. It's not, but I tell you what, if you, if you ever would love to do the stairway to heaven, I think this is a, a close second to it because it, you feel 
it, there's a great view at top when you get to the top. It's an amazing view. Um, I, I think I sent you folks some photos of that. There, uh, but the second thing is that there is there is a um, a sense of accomplishment when you get to the top, right? And you do sure. it because up when you're going up that hike, you're like, not gonna make it, not gonna make it. <laughs> so, so as you're doing this, you you I, we paced ourselves. We went, you know, a couple of feet, stop, a couple of more feet, stop. You know, and we just we just paced ourselves in in that uh, in that way, and we and we were able to get there. Um, like I said, great view, and you and, and you when you get to the when you on the trail, you meet people who are also struggling with you. So you kind of have this camaraderie. By the time you you're like you're, like, you're hugging people, you're like, we did it, we did it. <laughs> Um, but I, I or would some agree. people who are cheering you on, uh, who are coming down, then they're like, yes. just a little bit left. <laughs> you can do it. And you start saying some of the same things that other people did. Like when we started and some folks saw us struggling, they would tell us, hey, there's tequila up above. <laughs> so so there's a bottle of tequila up there that they're giving out tequila shots for everyone. So so then on the way down, you, you also start telling people, hey, there's tequila up there. They're like, oh, I, want J- I want Jameson. I was like, there's that too. <laughs> but what we did was we took a Gatorade bottle, one of the, the, the volleyball or sports ones, the ones you squeeze. We filled it up with ice um, and with water. And that's all we really needed. Again, it's not a race. I'm not trying. To, there was someone who actually went up that hike three times. They went up, down, up, down. And I was like, geez, I can't even do it once, right? So, uh, so, so there are people who are doing it for a race, but you're there just for a good time. So take your time. Don't rush it. We did it about forty-five minutes, and I'm 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 fairly I'm in fairly good shape. I'm not like mm-hmm. a super workout person, but mm-hmm. but yeah, forty-five, 45 minutes. minutes. Really good. Yeah, forty-five yeah. minutes is timing. Yeah, and, and again, we took our time. Um, so that was that. After that, we decided to reward ourselves, and we went to Joe's um, Joe's Express and got yep. us, Real you know, Express, some, yeah. yeah, we got some um, uh, some of the lunch. The lunch box um, and that was good and then we went right next door and we got some short ribs there was another place next door that i didn't get the name of it but that was good the max mm-hmm. salad is to die for everywhere i went i made sure i got max salad i don't care what we were eating can i get max salad and i was comparing everything right right, right. So there was Oh, there is a new Mac salad place. Oh my God, from Thai's uh, bus. Remember yes. what? Uh, what? Oh. What do they add there? Uh, lobster. Yeah, lobster inside the Mac. Wow. Oh, it's, it's, it's I think crazy. they have a potato Mac salad and lobster beads, yeah. uh, like a piece Bits. of lobster. Yeah, that Mac salad is yeah, just. It's, it's crazy. It's bomb. Oh, that sounds bomb. delicious. That's yeah. on the North Shore of the food trucks. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'll tell you, I have to go back because I went for nine days and I felt like maybe 12 days would have been enough. Because, That's like what I Hawaii said, does to you guys. It's real Hawaii fever. Once you come once, you always want to come back. <laughs> Miley asked, um, do you need to uh, make uh, reservations to go snorkeling in Hanama Bay? Yeah, you, 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 you definitely do. Um, you have to do it a couple of days before. So I think it's like seven days before, if I'm not mistaken, you have. It, it's, 72, 72 hours. 72 hours, yeah. Oh, 72 hours. And again, be the first one because that was, things go like hotcakes. I'm not kidding you. So we what they were it. saying, um, what they were saying was that the reason they go so fast is that they were saying that tour companies were snagging them. That's oh. why regular visitors, tourists wasn't able to get it as fast as what they think. Cause even like a minute mm-hmm. or two, like said, they're there and they're just ready for it to go on sale. And then they snag up a bunch of them. And that was something that was uh, on the news for a while. I don't know if it was still happening. I know this was mentioned. I would want to say about maybe three weeks to a month ago, they were doing that. I'm not but sure. If it's still- I, honestly, I haven't seen any tours to Hanama Bay. Yeah. Well, I've been I looking for the tours and I haven't found any. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but it, it went so fast. And so mm-hmm. we, we didn't get, we didn't get to go to Hanama Bay to snorkel. Unfortunately, right. that was, that was one of the things, but you know, there, there's a lot of great places to snorkel in Oahu. It's not the, I mean, yes, it's an iconic place. You want to go there, but if you can't, don't get disappointed. There's other places. We saw a lot of good fish. Uh, we got to see a turtle, so in other places. Right. So it's it's not like that's the only place you're going to see cool stuff. Like, yeah, if you can go, great. But for us, it wasn't like an A-list thing. It was like, it, it was a B. It was like, I want to go, and if it doesn't work out, then, we, you know, we'll, we'll make okay. up for it. 
Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, so, so we, we also um, so we we compared everything we went to. Like we always got local moco every place we went to, right? To try. And some places had the good burger. And other places had the the rice was excellent. Other places, the way the the, the, the egg, you know, and was made was great. Mm -hmm. The gravy, right? Every place had like uh, really good, really good. Uh, Really good items, and some places have good mac salads. Other so, places. So, from, like, from Locomoco expert, what is your favorite Locomoco spot? Uh, or, see, or at least what are the spots that uh, you favored? The um, uh, the patty uh, uh, burger, the rice the, or gravy. The bur the burger, the best burger was from uh, the diner. Um, Lippies. Uh, no, li uh, Lily. Uh, Lily Liliana or. Uh, Lily House Bakery, it's called something like that, right? Yes, yes, it's like a diner. We sat at the diner. At the table it's the uh, on uh, Nemitz Highway, right? Yeah, and let me tell you, the burger felt like it just came off someone's grill in the backyard. Like it was that fresh. It, it felt like you know, it tasted like just like like uh, what what Burger King's says about their flame grilled burger. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it tasted like. It was it was so good. Yeah. So that was definitely the best burger. The best short ribs uh, was the spot, and I wish I had the name of it. Was was next to Joe's Grill Express. There's like a little Korean spot right next door, a little hole in the wall. The right. short ribs there were amazing, and the short ribs actually in North Shore was very good too. And with the truck that's next to uh, Giovanni's, um, but the short like, ribs in Helena's though. Okay, the short ribs in Helena. We met Helena, and that was a, another day, a day we did that. Um, one morning, we just we just threw our itinerary out, and the group of people that we were with, they were like, they were like, I want to go try this. And we said, let's go. So we literally went to like a whole list of different places to try food. The morning we spent that, and so we went to Helena's, and we met. We were the first ones online, and we got there, and we got in, and we we ordered, you know, the, the poi, everything. And so the ribs there, the short ribs were thick, mm -hmm. right? And I'm used to very thin. They were mm -hmm. thick. And to my my likeness, it's, they were a little bit too salty, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are salty. Mm -hmm. But what I did was I was dipping it in the, in the poi. Poi, yeah. Poi. Mm -hmm. So that poi kind of like brings it down some because it has right. no, no salt flavor to it. So right. I was just having that right. yogurt purple thing with the with the ribs with the with the ribs and it was it was good so there yeah. but yeah I, to, okay it didn't again new york we have great great foods um so it, it didn't blow my mind you know, right there were, there were very there were very few places that i was like wow you know in new york you have you multiply you have all the good foods here our group was was used to eating really good food so so it was good it was an ethnic experience that we got to learn and, and, and try the, the culture but food was good good mm -hmm. um so so yeah so the social distancing um i didn't feel like there was much social distancing happening but we also didn't have people on top of us right there in the restaurants we we did have our distance um we did have to wear a mask uh, mm -hmm. when we walk into a place mm -hmm. um so yeah, but the social distancing was pretty was was pretty good. I didn't feel like some places it was just crowded, like uh, Gold Plantation. There's a lot of people there, but still, we were all pretty respectful of each other. Right, right. So mm -hmm. there wasn't any like really overcrowding or anything. Didn't feel like it. I mean, again, take it for like a grain of salt because as a person who comes from New York, where we're on the subway right. and you really turn your head and you have someone in your face, your right? Face, so it, right. Didn't, it wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. So the second day we went to Hanama Bay, uh, we were supposed to go to Hanama Bay, which we didn't do. We did the Cocoa Head hike, and we went to have the the um, the, the donuts, uh, the malasadas, and those were great. We got one of each, right, just mm -hmm. to take a bite. And, and then and then what we decided to do is we decided to just go right up to the North Shore. So after Cocoa Head the second day, we wanted to just to relax. So we went up to the North Shore. And we hung out there at the beach, um, jumped off Waimea. It went to my 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 way. Waimea Bay Rock. Waimea Bay Rock, and jumped off there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a funny story. So I, I have an Apple Watch, and um, I get up top, and I'm excited. Uh -oh. 
And I know about this, this the curse. You know, you go on top of that rock, you have to jump off. So you get up there, and it's actually higher than what you think. So I'm like, you know what? It's water. I'm not going to get hurt. You're telling yourself these things, and then you just jump off. Jump off. Boom. First thing I do, I go check for my watch. And I'm like, shoot, the watch. So I try to look under, and, you know, it's blurry because you, you don't have goggles or anything. So I'm like, oh, watch it. This is like a $300, $400 watch. So I, I swim to the shore. I grab my, my mask, my, my snorkeling mask, and I dive in. I go right ahead in there. I'm looking, I'm looking, and lo and behold, the water's so clear. 30 feet down into the water, you see it, a little a little black circle. You're like, I watch. So you dive yeah. in. I get it. Swim out. And I'm just like, you know, you're so overjoyed. You want to share this accomplishment with someone. And I tell the person that I'm standing right there, in such a small world, what a coincidence. I, I st- this, this young kid's there, and I'm like, Dude, I jumped off the rock. I lost my watch, and I, and I found it. And I found it. And he goes, "Let me see. That's my watch." He says. And I said, no. "What?" He takes the watch. He goes, "Watch." He puts his passcode in, and it's his. <gasps> no. So I'm like, oh, out of all the you can't make the world, it up, guys. <laughs> right, right. So someone else hears me, another stranger, and says, "You lost your watch in there. I'll go help you." He puts on his snorkel gear. We both jump in, and we find my watch. Crazy. So two Apple Watches were lost that day, and two Apple Watches were found. And you Crazy found it. How long did it take um, you to find yours? Not even two minutes. It was so quick. Wow. Because you know where you jump off from. You can see where you jump off from. So right. You, jump, you know it's in the area. In the you area. Down, the ground, there's, there's no, you know, why may such a nice beach? I, that's one of my favorite beaches to me. Lanikai. Oh, Lanikai, Lanikai. Yeah, the, the sand feels better, but the people in, in Waimea were so cool. They were like, Young locals, um, a couple of tourists, uh, mm-hmm. and er- everyone's there for a good time. I didn't feel like I had to watch out for my stuff. Clearly, I was. I took some of your tips, put it in the bag, put it under, mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, but that was, that was a, a nice nice vibe. We hung out there. We saw dolphins jumping out of the water actually oh, in the sweet. far, which was cool. Wow! Yeah, um, that's cool. Yeah, they have uh, uh, dolphins. Trying, yeah. trying to think what else. So then after Mama that. Like went, we went back to, um, we also did one of the days at Dog Plantation. We got the, we did the train and um, the lines were ridiculous. I'll, I'll one tip that I think everyone should know. When you get there, you see the gift shop and you think that's the main line. And some people make that line thinking that's where you get your tickets. Um, I'll, I'll talk about the luau's in a second because we did a luau and it was, I think it was a good bang for our buck. Uh, mm-hmm. So so when we got to Dog Plantation, there's really three lines. There's a line for tickets, there's a line for the gift shop, and there's a line for the train. Mm-hmm. And there's a line for the maze. For also for, for the maze. Mm-hmm. If you don't have kids, or we didn't do the maze. We didn't care to get lost. We get lost all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Why pay to get lost, right? <laughs> exactly. So we're like, we don't got much time. We want to try the Dole Whip. That's what we're here for. Let's go get that, and let's find out about the train. So we did the line for the train. We went to we went at the end of the day. We went like around right when they were closing, like an hour before. So there were still people, but there wasn't many people at the train. I think we waited for the for the line for the train like maybe fifteen minutes, and that was it. Which was we got on the train. The train is a nice ride, chill time. We already had our dough whip. You can't eat your dough whip on the train, so you got to eat it before. A note there. So don't think you can eat your dough whip while you're on that train. It's not gonna happen. Right. So we got on the, the train and it takes you, it shows you all the all the, the fields and what they grow. They don't just grow pineapples there, they grow everything. Coconut um uh, chocolate, cacao. like cacao, which is made of chocolate, uh, different types of fruits and things like that, which is awesome, right? If you wanna do it, go right ahead. If you want to give Mr. Doll your extra 15 20 bucks go right ahead but the truth is what you're gonna see in that train you're gonna see if you drive towards the north shore another 15 minutes you're gonna see a field of pineapples and that's exactly what you're seeing inside and you're gonna sit on a train with a pre-recorded uh pre-recorded um the, the description of, of what the dull history is you can get that on youtube don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. Right? Go spend your time on a beach. Go spend your time doing something else. Right. Uh, so, so that's my recommendation on it. The the Dole Whip was excellent. We we went twice actually to get Dole Whip, and it was nice. so good. Uh, we you know we tried the drink, 
we, we tried the drink, we tried the Dole Whip, and we tried um, the. Uh, there was something else that we tried there with like we actually you know, put the pineapples on them, which is delicious. Right. Uh, but my favorite Dole Whip was actually the Polynesian Culture Center. People, if you go to Polynesian Culture Center, there's a Dole Whip there that's with vanilla. So it's like a swirl. So it's not as tart. Uh, it's a mix. It's a mix. It's, right. mixed. it's like half vanilla, half uh, pineapple, and it's more, and oh my God, it's more creamy, and it's not as like like sour. Tart, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I, I love that one more. Um, so we booked the Polynesian Culture Center like six months in advance. We, we, we wanted to see that because it gives you, it's basically as you're walking through, it has different villages and, and, or different islands, and those villages are the islands. So you see Fiji, you see uh, Tahiti, you see um, uh, New Zealand, Samoa. And as you go, there's a schedule. And on this schedule, you get to see these different places, and they tell you when they're doing their events. So they do the same event like four times throughout the day, but you pick which event you want to do, and you can see them all at the same time. Um, no, I did not try the the pink pineapple. We saw it there. Um, I didn't know if you get to if you can actually buy them there. Um, I, I didn't see that. But what they do sell is, which I recommend on the outside, not inside the food. The the um, the, the, the shop it's outside they have cold water coconuts and corn that they're making the corn is really good i i, I recommend it it's not that expensive it's like five bucks and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's enough um so so yeah so so um polynesian culture center it was worth it it is listen it is a little it, we didn't know this it is run by by mormons um mm -hmm. and um what they do is they when you pay to go there uh, Devon, I'll get to your Lua because I have a good story for that one. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so when you get to the, the 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 money you pay for that is actually they're sponsoring someone from these islands to come to Hawaii and study and get the degree as well as share about their culture. So it's it's awesome that they're doing that. So and, and people who work there as well who do um, the the shows also are students from mm -hmm. the um, Hawaiian University. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah, they're so they're, working they're, there part time. And, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, they're comedians. They're hilarious. They're really funny. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the folks there had us laughing. Um, so, so, yeah, so that's the one I recommend you do. I think if we wouldn't have done that, it would have been would have been tough. Um, we did, so we decided to do the luau on the same day we went to Pearl Harbor. And the luau we picked was uh, uh, Jermaine's. We picked your mains because of all the, and again, during COVID, we saw different videos of people actually going and documenting it. It was like they bring you your food. And, and the other one, Chiefs, is at uh, the water park. Uh, yeah. They're, yeah. About, they're, they're about the same area. And some hotels do it. I heard the Sheridan uh, does it, but I don't think they're doing it now. And then Polynesian Culture Center does it, but they don't have alcohol. Uh, the Polynesian Culture Center, and, and, I, and what I understand is that they're with the Polynesian Culture Centers, they do it like a ritual for the queen, the last queen to ever hold a place in, in Hawaii. So, so that we didn't get to see that one, but we went to Jermaine's. The second we got there, we got the highest one, I think it was like $170, but it was worth it. We sat right at the front, um, and uh, and they, they bring us our food, it was good food. We made a mistake, we went to Pearl Harbor. After we got down Pearl Harbor, we were starving. And we were like, do we wait or do we go? And we heard like, huh, Lua food isn't that good. So we went somewhere else to eat and we stuffed our faces. We got to the, we got to the Lua because we were like, oh, it's probably going to be a little bit of food. And then we got to the Lua and that food was amazing. We were stuffed and we were like, we are eating this food because it's so good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding you. We were mad. We were like... I would have had seconds of this. Uh -huh, it was right. so good. I, 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 I cannot say. You could say. have taken it to go because uh, <laughs> you can uh, order extra because they bring it to you in a plate already pre-made, right? Yeah, you yeah. can you, uh, you can get more. So it, it doesn't have to be just one plate because Luau is a buffet originally and you can go and get your second. So if you get a plate, you can ask for another plate and take it to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we didn't think about that because uh, also 
they give you three tickets. We, again, we paid the one that's like 170 and um, you get three tickets of drinks or two or something like that. And we were, the show was great too. It was very entertaining, very relaxing. Um, bring mosquito sprays just for your legs, you know, make sure for the 10 night. Although we didn't feel like we got bit too much. But if you, and we dressed up with a Hawaiian shirt, relaxed shorts, we put sandals on, slippers, as they say, <laughs> and, uh, with the slippers on. Uh, after watching Joe Coy, every time someone says slipper, I hear Joe Coy saying slipper, slipper, slipper. <laughs> but you take your slippers, you take them off, and you feel the sand. It's so nice and cool. You're watching this great show, and you forget about getting your drinks. So trust me. When they bring you out, get those drinks out. Get them all out so you can drink. And the drinks were good. They didn't feel super strong, but they weren't weak. Um, so a lot of questions that people have about the drinks is that they feel like um, they can drink throughout the whole entire show. How does that work? So you can't. So they tell you is that when you get there, you have your, you have your voucher. The guy comes out. You want your drink? You want a drink? And then you, you kind of think like, no, I'm going to wait a little bit. I don't want to start it. Get your drink. Right? Because then we waited. We got our drink. We didn't finish that drink. The show, the beginning of the show started with the food came out. So then we got our second drink there. By that time, you should have had your third drink already because when the show starts and the lights are off, they're not bringing you drinks no more. You would have to get up and go get your drinks. And you kind of don't want to get up and miss the show. Mm -hmm. So I would say get your drinks before the food. And if anything, just leave the drink on the table. And you just once you so your voucher, your, your voucher was for the whole entire show. You could drink and three drinks. It's three drinks three, for three drinks. Right. Okay. Unlimited, unlimited. Un, yeah, it was unlimited soda and juice. Right, right, juice. But the actual uh, adult beverages were three, um, and the dessert. The they have this little coconut dessert. Oh, it was so good. It was delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so I, and then you're by the water too, so you get some great pictures uh, with the with the beach behind you. You take a little stroll down there before the show starts, and then you also get a free picture or two. You get two pictures. So we got our picture at the beginning when you walk in. You can take a photo with one of the the dancers there. So that was that was pretty awesome. Um, prior to that, per hmm? prior to that, Pearl, we went to Pearl Harbor, and in Pearl Harbor, um, hold on. You want to say? You want to say hi? My five-year-old here. <laughs> okay, you gotta, you gotta give me a second here. Sorry, pardon that interruption. We're so, live. Uh, we're live. We can't make this up. So, um, so, so we went to Pearl Harbor again. That you cannot book ahead of time. The museums you can. The three museums, the the Missouri. Um, the, the submarine and the aviation one. But the Arizona, to go on the ship that actually sunk, the battleship that sunk, you got to buy that, and it's a couple of days before. We missed it, right? We were so focused on trying to get Hanama Bay tickets that we forgot that we had to book the Pearl Harbor shuttle to take you to the boat. So we were like, shoot, we missed it. You but forgot we what to book the shuttle? The shuttle to go to the... So the way it works is... In the Pearl Harbor Bay, where the where the attack happened, the Arizona sunk right there. You cannot see it. You have to take a boat from the entrance. So you park your car, you walk right in, and then you have the option. You go this way for one museum, two museums, three museums, or to go see the Arizona. And that is you go through. You cannot carry your bag in. You, you, can, take, you can bring a water bottle, and it has to be like a small bag or something like that. Or you can check it in. Don't want to make that line to check in your bag, so don't bring a bag. Just bring a water bottle. That's it. Mm -hmm. So you go, and we and what we did is we went ahead and we saw the the Missouri, beautiful ship. It, we we kind of rushed through it. It took us about an hour and a half, and then we did the the, the aviation. The aviation is not that long. If you're a person that likes to read everything, it would take you a little bit longer. Uh, we didn't do that. We we just saw some things, took some pictures got back on a bus. There's a shuttle bus that takes you. You don't have to pay for this. You don't have to book it. You just wait online. So every time you go to the to the, the Missouri or the aviation, you got to wait on a, for a bus that takes you. That line takes you about 20 minutes, maybe. So you got to factor in that time. So you had a, a tour that took you an hour and a half. A bus ride that, you know, waiting and getting on the bus is another 20 minutes, plus another aviation of an hour, plus another ride. So maybe like about 
three hours. We went, we spent there three, four hours. And then you had the submarine, which was a walking tour, no bus needed because it's right next to the harbor. So we, we waited for the last, so we did all that because we paid for that. And then we walked over to see if we can get on the Arizona shuttle. There's a standby line that they leave you at the end. They say, if, if, if for the three o'clock, let's say for the three o'clock shuttle, if the people who signed up doesn't, doesn't show up, uh, then uh, yeah, wait list. Mm -hmm. you'd be on the wait list. And then if you're in, they'll let you in. Uh, the Missouri, I don't remember. We did uh, the, the cost of the Missouri and Aviation Museum. We did the whole package of all three of them. Um, you can just check online. But I think it's, the, the package is about $75 for uh, includes three museums. Yeah, but it's, it's Missouri, not bad. Uh, um, I think it's thirty dollars, uh, twenty nine dollars, something like that. The, the the Missouri is amazing because you actually see where that you know on that ship is where they sign the actual surrender of uh, of the war. So I mean that's it's pretty nice. They have like a uh, they have a twenty nine ninety nine. They have a copy of it on it. You get to see where folks live. You get to lay out one of the beds that they slept in. <laughs> And so you learn all the history about it. So the Missouri, I think, out of all the museums, was pretty cool. It was it's huge. So how, how long do you think um, the average person would stay, would have to give themselves to visit Pearl Harbor? Does it vary based on what you want to do, or is there a general? It varies. See, me and my brother are very different. I have an older brother who's like a nerd. Um, uh, I'm the athletic one. He's more the nerd. He's the <laughs> smart. He will go to a museum and he wants to read every single punctuation, exclamation mark, and everything <laughs> there. So he would probably take all day there. Me, I just want to see it. You mm -hmm. know, I don't want to read it. Uh, right. Which is, which again, don't judge me for this. I'm just not a person who's going to sit there and read all that stuff. But I get the gist. Mm -hmm. I see the, right. I see the ship, right? Right. And on the ship is actually people that on certain places they give you the information. There's like a guide there. Sure, so when yeah. you walk into the Missouri, there's a person who says, come here, come here, everyone. Right here is where a kamikaze airplane hit the ship and the pilot landed on the ship. And when he died, this is where they stood and they gave him a proper burial. And the guy's telling you this whole story, right? Wow. And then you go to another station and then someone else is there. They'll tell you about it. So if you don't really want to read, there's someone there to explain to you. And if you yeah, have questions, and there are also audio tours available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that was pretty awesome. I think the Missouri was worth it. And they have shave ice there. We didn't get to <laughs> we didn't get to take advantage of all the shave ice in the island. To my frustration, there was only one shave spot that we went to, and that was at the Jermaine's food truck. Folks, I don't want to kill anyone's business, but that is not shaved ice that's i've had piraguas here or june june's we call them in the streets here in manhattan washington heights it's it's way better than that I, we didn't get to go to island vintage which so one of my friends went to there and they were like good mm -hmm. uh, but the one to be honest the one in pearl harbor was better than the one at, at the food truck in germain's so that was kind of like a bummer um so yeah so uh, I think the Missouri is definitely a, a thing to go. Next time I go, I definitely will go to the to Arizona just to pay my respects. Folks mm -hmm. tell me when they go there, you get emotional, you see it, and that's pretty cool. Um, and for Arizona Memorial, uh, you don't have to pay. It is free. You just need to make reservations, which is just $1 to, for the processing fee of the reservation system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, so definitely do that. I would recommend if I would do it again, Arizona and, and Missouri. Really? Mm -hmm. Those are the, the, the ones you need to do. And then we saw, when I got back, I saw the movie Midway, which is about a Midway Island that's actually in the, uh, oh, Mountain Magic. No, I didn't get to have these shaved ice, which is <laughs> so mad. You're gonna have to um, come back, guys. I'm gonna have to come back, I'm gonna have to come back. So actually, I have a stadium to go to in Arizona. I haven't been to that baseball stadium, and I'm just going to directly fly here. Just Arizona, and then come here. Right. I'll, I'll go there. Sorry. Look here. Like I'm there. My heart's there. <laughs> um, so, so uh, yeah, so so definitely uh, I would do that. And also, if you're going to go to Pearl Harbor, try to book it on a day that the swap meet is, is available. Right. Because um, they are right you, next to each other. They're next to each other. Really, yeah. Mm -hmm. so you can do them both. So you do the tours in the morning and then walk over to the swap meet and then 
Well, the only well. thing is swap meet. You have to be there early because uh, the vendors sell out and they do finish oh, early. Okay. So if you're planning to do a quick Pearl Harbor tour, not like the entire day, then yes, definitely you can combine them or you can start your swap meet first thing in the morning and mm -hmm. then go to Pearl, and then Harbor. Go to Pearl Harbor. And and you can also do because from Pearl Harbor, Jermaine's wasn't far. So we put them together because from Jermaine, from, from Pearl Harbor to Jermaine was like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right, it wasn't that much of a drive mm -hmm. instead of going from yeah, because it's ha almost halfway, halfway mm -hmm. right, right, right. So that would be a great day to do together. So if you do the swap meet early, mm -hmm. put your stuff in the car, do Pearl Harbor for like three hours, and then go kill the night with um, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's Great question, because on our last Saturday, uh, we had a, a story with our previous guest about five minutes walking, and he walked for two hours. <laughs> so um, walkable, it's I think drive. Drive is obviously the best way to go, but it is walkable, but it's hot out there. There's no shade. So I'm not sure if you really want to do it's that. It's not a five minute walk. And it's not a five minute walk, yeah. that's for sure. This is this is my theory with, with Hawaii. If you don't need theory, to walk, okay. I want to see. Don't walk. Like if you don't need to walk, don't walk, right? If yeah. it's like if you're gonna have to pay thirty dollars because you're gonna get to a different parking lot and pay another thirty dollars, okay. But if it's right. Just get in your car and walk. There's parking there. It's not a big deal. Um, right. The weather in Hawaii is this. We were there in June, so it's probably not as hot as it is now. Um, so I would say if, the, if the, the weather is, if you're in the sun, the sun kills you. But there is a gentle, cool breeze that comes off the ocean that cools you down. So even though it's hot, you don't feel like the humidity, the uncomfortableness. So right. yeah, you have a nice I, trade I think, wind that comes through. But if if you can get in the car, get in your car and walk it. I mean, drive it. It's not not the end of the world. You know, what's your right. spend? Like five cents in gas? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, it, according another, to Google Maps, um, from the uh, like the entrance to Pearl Harbor to Swap Meet, it's about ten minute walk. But um, again, in heat, in heat you that don't feels really like a half an hour. Want to be? The, <laughs> the other thing, when we were there, there was some construction happening in that area, so they might have. You know, they might the be right you, you, yeah, mm -hmm. the virtue, you might not. And be then you also have to think you walk 10 minutes there in the heat. Then when you get there, you're going to have to walk around the entire stadium shopping. So yeah. it's, you know, you're going to yeah. be walking for yeah. like a good two hours. Yeah. Another day that we had planned, which again didn't go as planned, um, but we kind of we wanted to do the temple. I recommend the temple, uh, the Japanese but, uh, temple. Where they in temple, right? Yeah, it, it's five bucks to go in. Mm -hmm. And it really is astonishing to see. Like it's aesthetically, when you see it, it's so pleasing to the eye. It's almost surreal. You know, it looks like it's out of a movie. Mm -hmm. uh, so you go there, and you don't spend much time there. You probably spend maybe about, you know, again, like thirty minutes tops. You walk in, take some pictures. Uh, you feed the koi fish. You see a black swan, which is awesome to see. Right. And that's it. You know, you pay your respects, and you go. We did that on the way um, down from the north, uh, on the way up to the north shore. So we did that, and then we went again up to the north shore. I didn't didn't really try to hit Waikiki Beach. It's very touristy. Um, we went to Lani Kai too. Lani Kai again, parking is very difficult there. To me, if you want to get a picture there and just say you went there, fine. Go out at, at, after three o'clock. The parking is, is available after three o'clock in the after streets. After four, I think. Yeah. Or after four, mm -hmm. and then you walk in. We did that. We took a picture. And we left. We went to the, the state park that's up the street that you recommended. Um, Ka Kalea. Kailua. 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 Mm -hmm. And Kailua was cool too, but the vibe was not like North Shore. Um, uh, I didn't I didn't get to go to the, the swap meet, so I wouldn't be able to tell you that. We we, we didn't do it. We didn't have enough time because we were rushing to get to the Jermaine to get some food. Uh, Jonathan, we actually did uh, a live from Swap Meet, and we do have a full video on the Swap Meet. We will leave the links in, in the description. And uh, there's, uh, there are a few food trucks now there at the uh, Swap Meet. Uh, but for the food trucks, it's best to go to the North Shore to Kahuka Sugar Mill. Mm -hmm. Or or any of the uh, farmers markets. So we we went up to the sugar mill. Right, we did the, the temple, the sugar the the sugar mill, and we did another beach in uh, North Shore. And again, you 
going up. So that if you think about the island, you can't go completely around the island because on the west side, there's mountains and there's no highway there, right? Mm -hmm. So you got to go up through the middle, which that's where you, where it's the fastest way to the North Shore. But then when you come down, you come down the scenic route, which is through the, the East Coast, which be careful when you're driving because I'm driving and I'm too busy looking at, looking for the, the Chinaman's hat, looking for the, where the secret beach where you can see the the Jurassic Park mountains. And it's just, it's just so- Did, did you make it to secret beach? I, I remember we, you were interested. We didn't, we didn't. I wanted to go just to take that picture, the majestic picture, but yeah. again, you, you, you started realizing, we started realizing around this trip, we we're like, we're jam packing so many stuff that we're not actually sitting on a beach, drinking a Mai Tai and relaxing. Mm -hmm. right? We weren't doing that. Well, you can't drink on the beach just to let you know. <laughs> yes, you can't, right? But uh, what we did, right? And, uh, and we were very careful. We went to Waimea. Uh, oh, here, funny story. So Waimea, we, we couldn't park in that in that spot and i'm sorry my neighbors are blasting music if you keep us picking up you know yeah. it's new york so um, um we we uh we couldn't find parking in that area because it's a state park so we went they said there's like which a one, waterfall what what i mean there's like an area where you can park there for yeah. parking uh but if you drive uh, across the street there's like a valley. Water, mm -hmm. the valley right you can park there 10 bucks mm -hmm. yeah i went and i couldn't find parking there either they're all the lost by the street was filled so you so they told me you got to drive all the way and i was like oh that's like yeah. a 30 minute walk not doing that mm -hmm. there was another parking spot that i saw someone get out and i said oh i'm gonna jump in there right so i jump in there and there was an old sweet lady saying come on, come on. so i parked there it turns out it was her house it's her private property it's not part of the she only charged five dollars for that parking so I don't know if it's something I ate or um, or my stomach was a little bit upset, but I felt like I had to go, right? So nature was calling, and then I was like, I didn't know what was the situation at the beach. It was their bathroom, which there is. Right, I right. Said the, I, I said to the lady, is there a bathroom I can use? She says, only the one in my house. I was like, I'm not going to ask this old lady if I can use the bathroom in her house. But she was like, come, you can use it. Aww. And you see this humble lady it's almost like a shack, right? You get to go inside her home and she lets you in, use her bathroom. Obviously, we give her a little bit of money for, you know, letting us use that. But it just speaks to the volume of the of the characteristics and the and the welcomeness of the people from Hawaii. So I was very grateful for that. So, yeah, there's a parking there for five bucks. Take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. um, um, someone else is asking. Let's answer some stuff anymore. Yeah, so <laughs> I agree. I agree. So I think the next time I go, I, um, I'm just going to do that. I just hang out at a beach, you know, go to get up many beaches and many food trucks as you drive down. That's another thing. You see so many food trucks down the East Coast, not just Sugar Mill. That's not the only place. There's a lot of other places. Foodies, we didn't get to try either. And I hear they have Jermaine, uh, um, Giovanni's. The shrimp is okay. You're right. It's too spicy. The shrimps, right? And then the regular is doesn't have that much, you know, no sauce, flavor. right? Yeah, like us Dominicans and Spanish people, we put garlic and we make <laughs> it taste garlic and butter, and you can taste it. But this was like, eh, you know, and you can't. It's not doesn't come peeled already. So folks who are who think that they are like shrimps that are already peeled, no, you got to peel it. So that also takes away from the sense of eating because you're like you just think about just putting the shrimp in your mouth so <laughs> when, you have to, when you have to peel it it's not it's not it's not worth it i think it, so. uh, all all um garlic shrimps you have to peel right so, so so yeah so here's the thing with that that i kind of found out so when they do the garlic shrimps here right as opposed to what you're talking about and yes i agree with you that's the way we kind of used to it where the the the, the shrimp is already peeled and you just kind of pop it it popping it in your mouth they might leave the tail on at the very yeah. end at the least but here what they do is obviously they leave it all in the shell but that's because they put the garlic and everything and all the different sauces right on top so the experience really is to just bite in like to suck all yeah. the sauce and the flavor off the shell and then you go through and then you get to this that's kind of the whole way of eating it I, yeah, and my I buddy it gel well with me like if i'm eating i'm i want to eat i don't want to be picking yeah. and pulling yeah. it yeah yeah yeah, my buddy John was just eating with the shell. He says, I just eat it with the shell. I'm like, oh my <laughs> God. 
<laughs> she sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'll listen to each of its own. Um, so, so yeah, so down the, the East Coast, when you drive down, you just want to stop at all the different food trucks and eat and eat and eat, and you, you just can't. There's oh, only so yeah. much you can take, right? Yeah. Uh, another place that we ate that was good, uh, Korean barbecue on the top floor of Ala Moana Center. It's very good. Korean barbecue, all you can eat, good time. Uh, the biggest complaint you have with Korean barbecue is you come out smelling like meat, but this one, the way that they had the events, so good. Didn't come out smelling like anything. Um, right by our, ho our hotel, there was a, uh, a Vietnamese restaurant. It was very good too. I don't, I don't remember the name, but there's two. And they were both good, so we, rec we recommend that. Uh, anything that was disappointing for you that you didn't really? What What do you expected, and what you came to realize on your Hawaii vacation? So. I, I I think it was just that of the shaved ice that we had. That was probably yeah. the biggest disappointment. We were like, man, and again, the food we didn't feel like the food was like to die for. Where you're like, wow, never tasted something like this. But again, take it like a grain of salt because I'm from New York, right? So it's and I'm not I'm saying it humbly. Like New York has it's a melting pot, so we have a lot of good food. But it wasn't something that blew our minds. That we're like, definitely, you know, it was it was all good. So. So we watch a lot of YouTubers. We do like food tours, and so we knew those little hole in the walls that we wanted to go to. But again, it, that wasn't like a mind blowing thing. But it was, it was good. And there was very little things that I was disappointed with. Mm -hmm. um, tra traffic wasn't that bad. People always say traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh, I didn't feel that bad. But again, but again, because, because yeah, coming from New York, you know, like, and, and we, were, it, we were in LA. We were in LA before, and LA has the worst traffic. I think right. the worst drivers where they go 70 miles an hour and they come to a complete stop and then they stop and then they go another 70 miles an hour and then why <laughs> did you stop? I don't know. They just stopped for no reason. Right. So there was an accident up front. So yeah, we had that for a little bit before we got there. So traffic wasn't that bad. The heat wasn't that bad. Um, I think the biggest complaint was we didn't have enough time to do stuff. Right. right. So finding so, food, making reservations, all that stuff, because you pre-planned everything, it, when you actually got here it made things a little bit fluid uh did, because, did you did you go to any like special dining spots like um a little bit more high end maybe any restaurants or mostly you ate out of the trucks and uh, no we did we didn't do high end um because that's just not who we are right we don't really mm -hmm. we like finding those hole in the walls and the places that have good food so mm -hmm. we didn't really book any special reservations for that we went to dukes just to have a drink we got a mai tai and we mm -hmm. went to waikiki at night I don't know if that's all the all the beaches, but but uh, Waikiki at night it's like really lit up because of the moon. I don't know why, but the water and everything it looked like it was lights around us. So we walked around in in Waikiki and we had a drink and we had a shot. Expensive, right? I think it, it looks worth it. I, I didn't think it's it's. I mean. I, again, we just went. There was four of us. We got four drinks, four shots. I think it was like 130 for just that bill. Four drinks, four shots. That's it. And it was 130 dollars. And then that's it. We that's all we did. So we just did it just to go. We took a picture there and called it. Right. I wouldn't go there to eat food. Um, we went to Yard House right there too, just because to, we were hungry. That was the only thing that was open because everything pretty close late, and that that was open uh, late. Mm -hmm. Was that surprising yeah. that everything closed early? Um, no, because we again we did the research. We knew what things closed, and we didn't do much reservations because we knew that what we wanted to do and what time they open, so we plan accordingly. We knew something. Oh, poke, best poke is a supermarket. You know, you have to go there. And my Which favorite poke, Which uh, um, Fairland, is it? Foodland? Foodland. 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 Best poke. I and the one that I like the most is the rainbow one because it has a little bit of. Of uh, wasabi crab, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. so yeah, so so definitely the poke was there. So we went to places that we wanted to try, and we knew the time that they were open. <laughs> Have you tried the rainbow one? Uh, no, I, I like spicy one from Foodland. Well, this is spicy. It's it's made with with um, it's made with uh, wasabi. wasabi. It mm -hmm. has crab and it has the fish, mm -hmm. and it's mixed, and it is like the best one, best one, hundred percent. But yeah, for all the places, like I said, we went there. We got there at the times that we needed. There was another famous place. I can't remember the name. Um, 
and the poke wasn't as good as full van you know wow oh wow look at that pcc is already booked up until october yep. yeah mm -hmm. it's worth it it's worth it you get a lot so, uh, of good information i have uh, one more question isaac so basically you stayed at alamoana hotel but you did have a car and your intent was to stay at the hotel just pretty much just to sleep overnight and mostly go venturing out um yeah. of waikiki uh if somebody planning to stay in waikiki would you recommend to stay at alamoana hotel so uh, i am not a, a waikiki person right so waikiki is very heavy busy it, I, I would say it's like it's south beach of miami right where there's a lot of action happening people are out and about drinking and stuff that is a party area if you like that vibe, stay in Waikiki and pay the extra bucks. We were pretty, we were far. We were, you know, it's a 30 minute walk to Waikiki from, to the center of Waikiki, to the mm -hmm. Luke Statue. It's about 30 minute walk. So when we stayed there, um, we didn't really, we didn't really mind that because we stayed in the hotel. I think we take like one or two days that we said, let's take half a day and just go by the pool. The pool there was nice. Um, the hotel was a good bank for its buck. It wasn't like a five, like I said, a five star. It served its purpose. It was clean. It was it was comfortable. Good AC. Good nice pool. Customer service was good. Uh, they had Starbucks. Down uh, the how much did you pay for parking? Do you remember parking? Thirty fee? like thirty five dollars a day. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the best thing because you come home at whatever time and you just go right in and park take the elevator off. You don't have to mm -hmm. worry about that. So it wasn't bad. And then we got our car rental for like $30, $37 a day, which was that's a steal. Wow. We, we yeah. booked it. I think because we booked like in the middle of COVID that there wasn't much happening. So mm -hmm. we got that break. Um, but yeah, the last day we did, because we went for a wedding, we went to Four Seasons, and I'll wrap up because I know we have to run. Uh, went to Four Seasons, the Four Seasons was beautiful. Um, and uh, Four Seasons is located at Koalina, guys, um, yeah. if you don't know. Yeah, um, we, we, but the day before, the whole wedding party and the groom and the, and the bride, we rented uh, a catamaran. And it was about 30 of us we got it. We bought tons of drinks and we drank like Fish. never before. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy. But the people were great on the boat. We were on yeah. the boat. It was again, a royal, royal catamaran, right? Royal, royal catamaran. Uh, mm -hmm. Speak to Richie and tell him that you spoke to Isaac from New York and he'll give you the royal treatment. Seriously, <laughs> this is how good they treated us. So yeah, we're there great. drinking. And I, like an idiot again, thinking, not thinking, my watch, dive into the into the boat, right? We're diving, diving, and I'm tipsy, and I get back on the boat, and then I look at the guys, I look at Rich, and I go, my watch. He no! Goes, Did you lose your watch? I said, I jumped into the water, and we're like in the middle, yes, we're like in the middle of the ocean, and he goes, which side did you jump off of? I said, this side. He goes, boys. We lost the Apple Watch. So two of the guys get their gear from the staff, jump in, and Richie wow. looks at me. He goes, Isaac, if I find that watch, you better leave me a good review. I said, bro, I leave you the best review possible. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not even 30, no, like, like 10 minutes, they come back with the watch. Wow. That's incredible. I not believe it. You know, and it just shows that we're in the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. These guys, their their willingness to serve, they jump down, get it. The water must have been clear down there um, on that catamaran. Uh, we had a great but after a couple of drinks, you couldn't really see if it was clear or not. <laughs> My head wasn't clear, but we got um, we got a great a, a great um, a great tour there. We got a their sunset tour. And uh, we got to see uh, turtles out there actually swimming, which was nice. Tons of fish. So uh, that I, rec I highly recommend that one, too. We, there was 30 of us. So I think it came out to like about $130 a person. And they also cater. So they had the sandwich for us. I don't know where they got those sandwiches from. They were so good. I don't know if they were so good or I was just drunk and it just tastes good. But right. it was delicious. It so, was delicious. so Royal Hawaiian Catamaran mm -hmm. only caters to private catamaran rentals. And it's not like a, you can just book it. Uh, and the catamaran is really nice, too. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. very well capped. It looks beautiful. Nice yeah. wood panels. Yeah. 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 Uh, other other tour that we looked at that, that uh, we wanted to do but we didn't have enough time was the um, 
uh, the sandbar, uh, sandbar tour. It's like it's like one hundred and ten dollars to on some close to the North Shore. They take you out to a sandbar. We didn't get to do that. Um, I think we had enough water tours uh, for mm -hmm. our trip. But but yeah, but if I tell anyone, look, really make a decision. Are you out there to to adventure and to learn about the culture? Then you're gonna have to choose which ones you really want to do if you're mm -hmm. all about that then you can have just tons of stuff to do on the island if you want to learn we didn't get to go to the bishop museum we didn't get to go to the palace to see where the queen lived mm -hmm. you know there's so much history there you'll be there for days and if you just want to relax then kind of pinpoint the places you want to go and prepare what we did is we got a book bag like a book bag that had like a cooler in it like a, to that type in the hotel filled it up with ice put our drinks in it and we and we bought some poke, put poke in that, and we ate it at the beach, and that was our beach days. So, right. really, first thing is decide what do you want to do. Is it going to be adventure or is it going to be relaxing on the beach? If that's what it's going to be, you have tons. If you're going to do a balance, like we try to do it, you're going to come back feeling like you need more days for sure. Right, mm -hmm. right, for sure. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, anybody else have any other questions for uh, Isaac? We're about to let him go. We thank you so much for joining us, Isaac, and taking your yeah, time out great uh, tips. for doing this. So yeah, definitely, if you guys have, uh, we'll take a couple more questions. And also, we were talking about um, good deeds and doing uh, really good things. So I want, um, Isaac, um, can you uh, talk to us a little bit about what you do back oh, in Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so I work for a health, uh, health plan called uh, Select Health. Um, it's a health plan that is Medicaid for Medicaid folks. Uh, anyone who is experiencing homelessness um, or uh, living with HIV or of the transgender population, uh, that's all we cover. We don't cover, if you don't have any of those three criteria, you cannot enroll into this health plan. Um, the most important thing is a lot of folks from the LGBT population who are are from trans experience and they want to have their gender affirmation surgery, my company pays for it. We help you with that. So wow. if uh, you need testosterone and things like that and you are considered transgender individual, we will help you um, go through that process. And I think that's, that's an underserved population. We try to help out as much as we can to those folks. So yeah, that's what I do. That's our, our, our website. Um, if anyone has any questions, feel free to shoot me. Uh, um, uh, an IG. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, great! Look at that. Someone knows about Select Health. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's that's what we do. Uh, I do all the outreach and the marketing for it, and I try to enroll folks into the health plan and get them through it. You know, it's it's a very difficult uh, world we live in when we don't have health insurance. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So yeah. So when you uh, when are you thinking about coming back to uh, Hawaii? To, to be honest, I, I was looking in October. October, the rates from New York is about five, like five, six hundred bucks round trip. Nice. Um, but realistically, I'll probably, if I do decide to go, it'll be next year, uh, next baseball season, because I have a few stadiums that I have to go to. I have to go to Arizona, Minnesota, and uh, I think that's it. Those are the only two that I have left after this this year. So maybe when I do Arizona, I'll, I'll head down there. What are you gonna be? Are you gonna do anything different this time coming uh, coming to Hawaii? I think if I go to Hawaii uh, again, I I might want to do another island half of the time and then mm -hmm. do Oahu again because Oahu is, you know, it's I, I don't care about the party, but I care about seeing the beach, right? And that and I think the North Shore was pretty cool. I don't know. I, I would have to do research on other islands to see what they have to offer. But Oahu has a piece of my heart, so I feel like indebted to go back. And I have to go see Arizona. That's a must. Right. Uh, and a couple of other hikes that I would like to do. Uh, Cocoa Head, we didn't catch, I mean, not Cocoa Head, um, Diamond Head didn't catch my eye. Mm -hmm. The Pillbox also didn't catch my eye. I don't think I want to see a sunrise there. I mean, I would like to see a sunrise, but I don't think I can muster it up to go do a hike and see the sunrise right maybe mm -hmm. if i open my window and i see the sunrise okay right but I'm okay. Not wake up at four o'clock in the morning to drive half an hour to snow right yeah in the, in the dominican republic this is a tradition that we do and on new year's eve you go out you party you drink you party till like three four in the morning and then everyone drives to this place called the malecon 
where it's like by the water and you sit there at four or five in the morning with a guitar, some drinks, and you watch the first sunrise of the year. Very great opportunity. So that's what you, that's what Dominicans do uh, with the Dominican Republic. And so, yes, I've done that. It's great to see. So maybe something like that I would do, but Oahu doesn't party late. So maybe if I'm near beach, Airbnb, wake up, go outside and have a cup of coffee while you see the sunrise, yes. So but if I go back, I would definitely want to do Arizona. We want to see um, shaved ice, vintage shaved ice. would be my first place I go to. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so if you come back, uh, would you stay in the same area, the same hotel, or would you stay anywhere else on the island? My loyalty is to the price, right? Uh, maybe mm -hmm. Most travelers probably are like that. Um, so if the price is, is right, I will stay somewhere else. Um, so, because I looked at a Sheridan, the Sheridan was was a little more pricey, um, mm -hmm. but but uh, even the Airbnbs were pricey. And then we looked at the Airbnbs, and it wasn't, it didn't look as nice. And the ones that looked really nice were like five hundred dollars a night. Yeah, I was like, uh, no. So, okay, we budget ourselves for those nine days. And again, we were very frugal in how we did things. We looked for hole in the walls. We didn't like go to high end places. We probably spent about. Twenty-five hundred dollars a person, and, and everything. I'm talking about hotels, food, all the stuff that we did, um, and uh, car rentals, parking, uh, and also that includes staying in in Los in LA and San Diego for two days. So, um, and, and also, you did uh, a lot of paid activities such as Polynesian Cultural Center. Yeah. Luau is one of the most expensive ones, and again, the catamaran is also. Yeah. Uh, right. over a hundred dollars so yep. mind you guys uh that included the um, major activities yeah right so yeah but, but i think for, for for nine days uh 2500 is not bad not bad for for an experience that you would treasure for a lifetime oh yeah absolutely and if you eliminate the four the the, the three or four days that we spent in california maybe it's about Two hundred, uh, two thousand dollars, maybe, maybe a little bit less. Because so it's, it's not only a nine-day Hawaii vacation; it's a total of uh, twelve days, right? Twelve days yeah. vacation, so almost two weeks, twenty-five hundred per person, and included the flight and the stay in yes, LA, right? in, in LA. So mm -hmm. it was. Um, it, it, did I download any apps? The only app that I downloaded was the Trail, the Trail app. Uh, all trails, all trails mm -hmm. just to look at some stuff but no there wasn't much apps that i felt like i needed to download um we used uh google maps and ways to get around uh, and that was it like there, there wasn't there wasn't anything that we needed um everyone spoke english there was no right um, there wasn't no impediment of speech um the Asian culture is amazing there because you have all the mixtures of, and we learned that at, at Helena's we, when the owner spoke to us. He said, "The reason why our my restaurant has all these different cultures is because it had the it has a bit of the Chinese, it has a little bit of the Japanese, and it has the American all mixed together. So, and that's what honestly Oahu is. It has Japanese okay. culture, it has a little bit of the Chinese, you have the American all mixed together, and then you have the natives there all together. And so rich. So right. rich. That's so awesome. All right, perfect. Is there any other questions? No, I think we're good. Yeah. Well, we definitely want to thank you so much, Isaac, for coming by again. That was really yeah. awesome. Great and um, if you guys found, uh, found value in uh, what Isaac was saying and what we were discussing, definitely hit that thumbs up button. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And we thank him so very yeah. much for being here with us. Listen, no, thank you. Since since I started following you folks, there's, there's a, you, your channel has so much information, so rich. I think thank Oahu's going gonna, gonna, to miss you. Because you definitely bring a lot of people to the island. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna miss Oahu too. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a mutual thing. Yeah. And, if I if I didn't come if I didn't come across you, I, I would have been <laughs> I, I would have been lost. Thank you. Thank you. We and um, uh, on other islands, uh, we also have uh, a lot of videos on Maui and Big Island too. So check them out before you decide to go there. Yeah, well. you know you could always reach out to us, of course. Yeah, for sure, for sure, we will do that. All right, fantastic. It was it was wonderful having you on and we'll see you again.
Thank you so much. All right. Bye. All right, guys, awesome. uh, if you uh, found any good tips in this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, we will just uh, answer a few other questions. Um, I saw a question about um, cheaper way to see a big island because the um, helicopter tour is $300. Um, that is true. Mm -hmm. uh, helicopter tour is one of the most expensive tours. And yes, it, it does cost uh, around $300. Some depending on the package you get, some even more, some less. Mm -hmm. If you want to get a helicopter tour on Oahu, we do recommend the company. And right now they have any discounts. So uh, head over to our website, just be out.net and um, check it out but there is um a, a, to see a volcano national volcano park you don't need to do it aerially you can just come in and uh walk through national park you can do a lot of hikes mm -hmm. so you don't really have to um do a helicopter tour and right now the glow is not that much it's i mean strong. uh it would be great to see it aerially but uh, uh helicopter tours there is no way to find it cheap unless you do like a 15 minute ride which is like once you take off you already have to land mm -hmm. uh fine dining uh our favorite fine dining is hokus at kahala mm -hmm. excuse me what uh, you guys live in Oahu, what? <laughs> uh, yes, Shim, if you've been following us, uh, we, um, our goal is to travel the world for three years and we do want to uh, create a travel guides for you anywhere we go and we want to travel not like for a week uh, at each place or country we want to stay for a month to three months to uh, really experience the, um, the place and uh, bring you all the information that you need to know when you're traveling. So yes, we are leaving Oahu in October mm -hmm. and um, um, we are going to do a couple of stops in the U.S. that uh, we have to take care of some business but our first international stop will be belize we are making travel plans for belize to stay there for about a month and a half um and um, so new year's will be in finger, russia finger cr fingers crossed that uh, um you know COVID is not going to cancel our plans because uh, we did leave uh, hawaii uh in what year 2000 yeah. 2001 <laughs> um last was it last two year ago. was it last yeah. year well, not two years ago okay two years ago we left hawaii uh to go f for our uh three-year travel but um we got stuck on the cruise because of covid and the cruise ship brought us back to hawaii and this is where we are quarantining mm -hmm. and uh waiting for the world to open up yes. to travel and speaking of uh, quarantine they're asking how's the COVID situation we went over this at the beginning of this video but i'll repeat it again as of today we have uh 485 new cases and for the past 14 days we've had up to 3,000, which is pretty high right now and we are spiking and they're keeping a very close eye on it and if you are planning on traveling here within the next month or so it's something to kind of keep tabs on and keep an eye on because if it if the hospitals get overwhelmed they will roll back but right now there is no talks of that so that's kind of where we are so uh, if we're planning to go to india <laughs> thank you so much barry thank you um I don't know if we're planning to go to India right now. We don't have hard plans for anything because you know the situation. We right, just want to be and safe um, to begin with. Right. So it's going to be tough beginning our three-year travels, but we're going to get it started, and you know whichever places are easiest for us to get into, then uh, we will definitely be going to those places for sure. What are the best same day locations for beach gear in Maui? Um, I don't know, John, uh, in Maui, because it also depends where you're staying on the island. Right. 
All right, so tomorrow, guys, we are doing premiere for our dolphin uh, adventure. And uh, was it Andrew who yes. was asking mm -hmm. if we have a link? We don't have a link, Andrew, for that specific dolphin encounter that we did. But feel free to book it. We highly recommend it. And you will find out why we recommend Dolphin Quest uh, tomorrow. So if you have... Uh, um, Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific Time, and 5 p.m. Standard Time. Join us for the premiere of our Dolphin Encounter at Dolphin Quest. We will be there uh, answering your questions live. Mm -hmm. um, and you can actually just put, head over now and click your uh, set reminder. Set the reminder button. That way, as soon as it goes live, we'll be there with you guys. Wow, Anthony will be here in eight days oh, and counting. Awesome. awesome. I want to have dinner, dinner with, with you, you Barry. So awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, Next Saturday, we have someone else, another guest we're bringing on. And wow. All I could say is wow. You guys have to be here for that one. And They have some really big right. savings for you guys as far as things yeah. to do. If you missed our live stream yesterday, we gave you 13 money saving tips yes. uh, um, for traveling to Hawaii, mm -hmm. Oahu specifically. But this couple has something else uh, in store for you. Right. So don't, don't miss it. Um, great stream. Thanks. Aloha. Thank you. thank you so much, Mr. B and the kids. So we're going to wrap this one up. And again, we thank you guys for being with us and spending time with us. We greatly appreciate it. Again, if you found value, please give this video a thumbs up. And as usual, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers!